Antonio Bruno forcing Speaker backwards onto the top rope and gets told off about it. Has only been beaten once. He's had 17 contests and won 16 of them. And the only man to beat him, an Irishman called Joe Crystal, while Bruno got revenge for that one evening. <laughs> Peter's taking the Bruno punch as well. 18 year old. Frank Bruno, very inexperienced, and uh, a big occasion for him. I'm interested to see what happens. If he doesn't make his punches tell, and Pika begins to get on top of him a bit. Hey. Breathing heavily, Bruno. Don't push. Public warning to Frank Bruno for pushing his man. Peter is landing one or two very good left hands down to the ribs. And that might be taking quite a bit out of this 18-year-old uh, Londoner. Taking huge breaths now at every opportunity, Bruno. Finding the going quite hard. And we're not over yet. And Peter is hardly breathing at all. Well, Rudy Pika, as I was saying, the son of an Estonian father uh, who came to the United Kingdom 30 years ago and married a Welsh girl. Rudy, a single man, works in the Treasury Department of the Cardiff Council offices. And he has a brother, Heino, who's 19, also boxes and has represented Wales at Welter and Light Middle. Rudy Pika. And the big man from Wandsworth, born in Hammersmith, Frank Bruno. His parents came from Dominica. He was born in Hamilton. Youngest of a family of five, boxing for only two years, never had any junior experience, and now 17 contests, 16 wins, and 13 of them have come inside the distance. Now its biggest test of all is coming up right here. The last three minutes of the last of this year's ABA Finals. Big punch hasn't told at all. And it was about time Pika had a little rally. He hasn't thrown too many punches. Head drop. Pika winces, Bruno soaked up, some good punches there. And the inexperience of the young man is beginning to tell. He's finding it very, very hard going now. Now how much strength has Pika got left? Can he really plant a big one on Bruno? The pair of them are very tired. They've come almost to a standstill. Absolute effort now for Bruno. Every punch he throws, he has to grit his teeth. Arms are hanging down, desperately tired.
closing moment. Well, that's a surprising final. Everybody expected fireworks. It was thought it would never go the distance. In fact, it's gone all three rounds. You can see from Bruno's expression and posture just how tired he is. Speaker lasted the three rounds rather better, but he couldn't produce a big enough punch with which to stop Bruno. So we wait to see how the judges summed it up as we come towards the end of these George Wimpy ABA Championships of 1980. Jim Neely.